Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Tanya Lupuana as you may know. I hope that you guys are well and staying safe. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I really appreciate you giving me some of your time. So today I will be doing a hair wash routine. Now if you watched my previous video then you'll know that this is a continuation from yesterday. So yesterday I put rice water on my hair and then slept overnight with it. And I haven't done anything with it since, I just combed it out. And so today I'll be then washing it, like you know, proper washing of shampoo and all of that. Just a little feedback from yesterday is that it does actually feel soft. Um, I wasn't expecting it to do anything, but it does feel softer than it did yesterday, which is great. And I hope that this continues even after I wash my hair. Hopefully that softness will stay. So I'm going to show you guys what I'll be using to wash my hair since I think it'll be difficult for me to explain once I'm in the shower and everything is wet. So I'll just explain it now. Um, to wash, I'm going to be using Pantene Color Protect. The reason for this is because my hair, although it may not seem like it, but my hair is dyed. Um, my natural hair color is like brown. I don't really like it much. It's got this really brown faded dull color. Not a huge fan, so I dye my hair. And this um, shampoo just helps to keep that moisture in your hair because dye does um, have a tendency of drying out your natural hair oils and nutrients. So this is just for that. And then I'll be using Pantene's Smooth, smooth and Slick. I used this on my wig a few weeks ago and it was so soft like it worked like a bomb. It made the hair really really soft and so I'm hoping that it can do the same for my natural hair. It's my first time trying it out so I hope, I'm hoping for the best. Okay, I think it's important for you to note that I don't have a strict wash routine. Um, this is because I changed my routine quite a lot. I haven't found, you know, my thing yet. So it changes every other month. Um, whenever I find a new product or someone recommends a new product, I'll try that out or I'll just see something somewhere and I'm like, oh, that looks cute. I tend to buy things sometimes because they look cute. Packaging is important. So um, I cut my hair about two years ago. So since then, I've just been on a learning journey. I'm always trying out new things and I'm just trying to see what works for me. So I'm not gonna say to you that this is a routine that I recommend because I myself am not too 100% sure about it. I'm still figuring it out, yeah. I hope that you guys do enjoy the video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below. I'd really love to hear some feedback from you guys. Let me know if these are products that you've tried and what your experience is. Also, give me some tips on other products that I can use. Enjoy the video. washed my hair as you can see so it's a little shrunken and I'm pretty sure my eyes are like red right now but it is what it is so I'm gonna start off by just parting my hair 
So I can put in some leave-in conditioner. But, um, I really hate using combs. <laughs> I think I hate pain. I hate pain. My skin. Okay, I'm using originals. Um, originals olive oil leave-in conditioner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie one side of my hair up um, and just then do everything on one side so I can just show you what I'm doing and then the other side I'll just do it myself so that we can speed things up a little bit. Okay, so this is the side that I'll be working with right over. So now I haven't detangled my hair in a very long time, very, very long time. So um, there's little hair particles, a little hair that has broken off all over the place. So before I, before I plait it, I will then detangle it quickly by section and then plait it up. So next, I'm going to put in, if you've watched, um, I think it was two weeks back, a week back. I made a homemade natural aloe vera hair oil, right? So this is aloe vera and coconut oil. So I'm going to be using this as well on my hair, especially on my scalp, just to moisturize it. I've got a very dry scalp and my scalp can get itchy very quickly. Um, I don't know why that is, but as soon as I braid my hair or something, my scalp is like, yo, don't like it. So I'm going to put some oil just on my scalp mostly and a little bit of my hair just to get my scalp a little moisturized. So now moving on, next product that I really really love, I have such a thing for MPR oil. I don't know if it's because of that tingling sensation that it does to your scalp when you put it on. Oof. It just does something to me. You know, I think it's a psychological thing because I think when I feel that in my mind it's like the product is working and even though it's like two seconds, I'm like, yes, my hair is growing. And that might not even be the case, but either way, I really love MPR. Um, I put it on my hair every week. So, so what I'm going to do with the MPL is that I'm going to just section my hair and then apply it on my scalp. I think I prefer it mostly on my scalp because I like that feeling. I'm really excited. <laughs> yeah, I love me some MPL oil. Okay, so once you've put it in, you're just going to then rub it into the scalp. Ooh, feels good. So now we're going to watch the part of plaiting the hair. I don't blow dry my hair because I don't like, um, first it's really bad for your hair, damages you know and when you pull it it breaks your hair as you call me your hair breaks but also I think one of the main reasons I am not a huge fan is because I don't like the pain no pain so what I'll be doing is that I'll be plaiting my hair and then letting it air dry that's simple more work I think takes longer 
but um, it's the best method for me. It preserves my hair and it's pain free. Win win. So what I'll be using is Duck and Lovely's Easy Styler Platin Pudding Cream. I haven't used it yet, so I actually don't know how this is going to work out. Let's find out. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to already start sectioning my hair the way I plan on plaiting it. After putting this on, I'll then just detangle it quickly and then plait. Hmm. It smells really nice. It smells like watermelon. Okay, so I'm done plaiting my hair now and what I'm going to do then is put on a duck, right, depending on, yeah. oh. this is a very long process so if you're going to try it out, make sure that you have enough time, like do it over the weekend or do it during a period where you know you don't have to go anywhere. Um, damn it is long like I started shooting way earlier on and it's dark outside right now so you need to make sure that you have enough time so I'll see you with a big reveal win. so this is my finished product as you can see I laid my hair down I used soft and free um, styling gel to do that and then for my edges I used clicks Afro true Naturals moisturizing curls. Now, as you can see, it did like a really great job. I honestly like it. I bought this last week, so I think it's really great. The only problem I do have with it, however, is that the packaging doesn't work. I bought it because of the packaging. I saw it and I was like, oh, this is so cute, but it actually doesn't work because when you try to press the gel out, it doesn't come out takes a long time and if you press too hard then it pops here at the back and then yeah I think they should rethink the packaging but otherwise the gel inside perfect so yeah that is it for me I hope that you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching if you did like the video please do give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below let me know what you think don't forget to share and subscribe Hi.